Chapter 48 Whoever jokes about anything that Allah has mentioned, the Quran or the Messenger. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَئِنْ سَأَلْتَهُمْ لَيَقُولُنَّ إِنَّمَا كُنَّا نَخُوضُ وَنَلْعَبُ But if you were to ask them, they would say, we were only joking and playing. Surah At-Tawbah, Chapter 9, Verse 65 From Ibn Umar, Muhammad bin Qab, Zaid bin Aslam and Qatada, each of them narrated similar, that during the battle of the book, a man said, we have not seen of our reciters similar to these people, none more greedy in appetite or false in speech nor cowardly in battle. He was referring to the reciting of the companions of Allah's Messenger ﷺ. Of bin Malik said to him, You have lied. Rather, you are a munafiq. We will tell Allah's Messenger ﷺ. So, Of went to tell Allah's Messenger ﷺ. But some Quran revealed about this incident. It preceded him. That man came to Allah's Messenger وسلم, while he وسلم, was mounted upon his camel. He said, O Messenger of Allah, we were only joking and we were saying things to pass time for us on the road. Ibn Umar said, It is as if I am looking at him, clinging to the saddle of the Messenger of Allah's camel, stones battering his feet, saying, We were only joking and playing. So Allah's Messenger وسلم, said, Is it with Allah, His ayat and His Messenger that you are amused? They are not excused. They have disbelieved after their faith. He did not say any more nor any less to him. Important Points Number one, an extremely important point that whoever jokes like this, then he is a disbeliever. Number two, that this is the explanation of the ayah. So whoever does it, then it applies. Point three, the difference between gossip and between nasiha to Allah and his messenger. Point four, the difference between pardoning which Allah loves and between being severe with Allah's enemies. Point five, that it is not necessary to accept some excuses. Commentary by Alama Asadi. Whoever jokes about anything that Allah has mentioned, the Quran or the Messenger. Meaning that this is something that entirely negates faith and removes one from the religion because the basis of the religion is faith in Allah, His book and His messengers. And faith requires honoring this and it is well known that mocking and joking about something of these matters is amongst the worst kinds of sheer disbelief because this disbelief increases disdain and contempt. The disbelievers are of two types, passive and antagonistic. The antagonistic is the one at war with Allah and his messenger, attacking Allah, his religion and his messenger with the sternest rejection and the worst falsehood. And mockery is a tactic from this category.